What's up Wargamers? Welcome to the first Lion Wargaming video. In this video, I will be comparing GW's Citadel Paints to the Army Painter's War Paints. Before we get started, I just want you to know this is all my opinion, so don't let this video decide what type of paint you want. It's your hobby and your decisions. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also tell me what your opinion is down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get started. Citadel paint and Army Painter War Paints are very similar when it comes to the paint's actual quality, so I will be talking about the differences of all factors instead of just the paint itself. Citadel paints come in a pot, while Army Painters come in a dropper bottle. The only setback of Citadel paint pots is that if you forget to close the lid, the paint will dry out, and I've had several times where I thought I had closed the lid, but the next morning the lid came off and the paint was dry. So just be sure to seal the pot shut. Another small complaint is the shades. Because shades are more liquidy than usual paints, it's easier to spill shades, and you will spill them if you're clumsy like me, and it is not fun spilling a $10 bottle of paint on your clothes. But overall, Citadel paint pots are quite nice and pleasing as well. Alright, on to Army Painter. Army Painter war paints come in a dropper bottle with a screw on cap. But Army Painter has one problem. Since it's in a dropper bottle, all of the thick paint goes to the bottom, and all the separated thin paint climbs to the top. So whenever you squirt some paint out, it will a super watery consistency. The paint is separated, and overall, it's nigh unusable. Now the obvious solution is to shake it, right? Well, no matter how much you shake it, the paint will not mix to form the perfect consistency that you want. But there is a solution, mixing balls. For $5, you get a 100 pack of mixing balls. Simply put a ball in the bottle and shake it. Personally, I prefer just to open the bottle and stir it with a toothpick and then shake it. But both options will work. So by now, you're probably thinking that Citadel is better. You have to mix the Army Painter War Paints together, which can be a big pain. But now we're going to move on to the biggest difference between the paints. The price. The average Army Painter bottle of paint is $2.59. Now the average Citadel paint is $4.55. So the Army Painter is almost 50% cheaper than Citadel, which is a big setback. Think about it. If you go out and buy 10 bottles of Citadel paint, you could have bought around 20 bottles of Army Painter. But here's an even bigger catch. The average bottle of Army Painter comes with 18 milliliters of paint, while Citadel only has 12 milliliters. Not only is Army Painter cheaper, it also comes with more paint. And it's the same quality of paint as Citadel. But in Citadel's defense, Citadel does have one thing that Army Painter doesn't. Contrast paints. For $7.80, you get a 24 milliliter pot of paint that acts as both a base and wash. Basically, if you have one certain color of paint across your whole army, instead of basing it twice and shading it, you just slap one thick layer of contrast paint on and you're done with that color. This allows you to crank out large armies in shorter periods of time. I know that Army Painter focuses on quickly painting armies, but GW's contrast paints provides a major shortcut for your hobby. So that about wraps up my video for today, but before you leave, I hope you found this helpful and useful for your hobby. Also, a great starting point is the Army Painter Mega Set. It comes with around 50 paints for a fair price, and includes all of your essential bases, washes, and metallics. I will say that even though I favor Army Painter for its cheaper price, over half of my collection of paints is still Citadel. But I want to hear what you guys think, so drop me a comment down below, and be sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting more videos and hopefully some battle reports in the future. If there's a certain topic you want me to post a video on, just tell me in the comments below and I can see what I can do. So I'll see you next time, don't forget to shut your paints and clean your brushes.